words of wisdom to anybody younger than me. I'm 40, so this is something I wish somebody would have told me when I was 20. And it goes something like this. Girls, don't let these men fuck you for free. Because every time you do that, you're whispering a little silent message to yourself, to your own subconscious mind and your own soul. And what you're saying to yourself through these actions, what you're saying to yourself is, you're not worth it. You're not worth him working hard for you. You're not worth him going to work for you every day. You're not worth being provided for. You're not worth being protected. You're not worth him sacrificing for you. You're not worth it. That's what that means. That's what your subconscious mind is hearing. Every time you let these men climb up on top of you, their balls deep up in you, they're just pounding away, having a grand old time with minimal effort. They had to do almost nothing to earn the privilege of being inside of your body. Why would you want to tell yourself that about you? You're just about saying to yourself, I almost hate you. I, I, I don't care about you. That's what that means to your subconscious mind. And the more times you do that, the more you believe it. When you go into a store and you find a really cute shirt on clearance, let's say. And yeah, you love the shirt. It's great. It's really cute. You got it for a super cheap price. You wear it all the time. But what else happens with a shirt like that, that you only paid, let's say, $8 for instead of $200? You're going to find that shirt balled up in the laundry. You're probably going to eat spaghetti sauce with that shirt on. You're not going to be careful. You're not going to bring that, that type of shirt to the cleaners and have it dry cleaned. You're not going to wash it in the right load. You might put it in with whites. You might put it in with darks. You might put it in with colors. Why? Because it was only eight bucks. Okay. You're not going to treat that shirt the same way you would treat a $200 shirt that you had to pay $200 for. You had to earn that money. You had to suffer a little bit for it. You had to sacrifice for the other shirt that was 200 your $200 shirt you bring it to the cleaners you use special laundry soap on it you hang it up as soon as it comes out of the dryer you're not going to find it on the floor mixed up with dirty clothes and a bunch of cat hair no you look at it differently you cherish it more you respect it more it's it's worth more to you because of what you had to do to earn it don't treat yourself like a clearance shirt. And you sure as hell shouldn't be letting a man treat you like a clearance shirt. If you put yourself on clearance, he's going to walk in that store, he's going to see you, and he's going to say, wow, look at this cute girl for such a bargain. And he's going to scoop you right up like anybody would. Because if it's cute and it's cheap, who wouldn't want it? They're all going to want you like that but they're not gonna cherish you like that. You get to decide what price you're putting on your own price tag. Don't ever sell yourself on clearance.